Hey everyone, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews, the place you come to for honest and objective magic reviews. Today I'm taking a look at the Mag Switch Wallet by Patrick Kuhn and Quiver. Now before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I have no disclosures because no one sent this to me. I paid for this with my own money. This is not an advertisement. This is not a magic promotional video. This is actually a legit review from me road testing this item for the past two weeks. And then I purchased this myself so you can rest assured that these thoughts and opinions are actually really my own um, and they're not swayed by any magic companies out there. So you can pick up this wallet for $70 and what it is is it's a switching wallet. It will enable you to do predictions, to do transpositions, and to force things. That's basically what it is. You don't have to use it on your phone. You can just you know, carry it around with you if you want, but it works perfectly with your phone. And unless you have the newest iPhone, you're gonna have to put the MagSafe sticker that they send with it in your case like I have. I've actually put mine on the inside because I didn't wanna put it on the outside. But then this turns this into like an everyday carry item, which is a great addition because then it's a very natural way of introducing it because it's already there, especially if you carry some credit cards in here. Right now I just have some business cards just to show this to you, but you can put this with some credit cards and then it's just a completely natural looking thing because so many of these phone cases have wallets built into them. It really does look just like that. So this is what you can expect to get. You're also gonna get a one hour instructional video where you're gonna learn three routines. I'm gonna briefly go over those routines with you guys, and then I'm gonna go over my own thoughts and impressions about this. I'm gonna show you a demo of my own of the routine that I've been using to road test this. And then I'm gonna go over my rating and final recommendations. First off, what are you going to learn on the instructional video? First, you're going to learn how to set up the wallet, which it's actually doesn't take very long depending on what you want to use it for. Now, I set mine up with a dollar bill because I wanted to road test a routine that I've been doing for years using the Quiver wallet, but I wanted to do it with this because I thought it'd be a great retention of vision with this. And probably the most difficult thing of setting it up was just getting it in the right spot. I had to use a pair of tweezers for that. And that took a couple of minutes. Otherwise, you know, that was probably the most difficult thing with the setup. And then afterwards, um, you're going to learn how to do a mercury card fold because Patrick Kuhn goes over the mercury card fold if you don't already know how to do it. For those people that are not familiar with the mercury card fold, I would actually recommend you pick up this item which is the Todd Lemansk bullet. And this helped me out a lot in the beginning when I first learned how to do a mercury card fold because the problem you're gonna have in the beginning is your mercury card fold isn't gonna come out perfect when you first start learning how to do it. And so you're gonna get an item here, the actual bullet, which helps you to score the card in like one second. So that way you can do a perfect mercury card fold without even trying. So I found that very helpful when I first started out doing mercury card folds. Now I don't even use it, but back in the day I did. So that's something that you may want to take a look at. Then afterwards, Patrick Kuhn goes over the main switch, which I'll tell you guys with your dominant hand, it's very simple. With your non-dominant hand, it's going to take a little bit of practice to get it very smooth. And if you're using this with a large index, you're going to need to learn how to use it with your non-dominant hand as well. So that's the next part that he goes over. And then finally, he goes over three main routines. The first routine is called Joker Transpo. And as the name suggests, it's a transposition effect. You take a joker, fold it up, put it in the wallet. Then you have a person select a card and sign it. And then it basically trades places with the joker that was folded up in the wallet. That's the main effect that's taught. And you probably saw that on the trailer. The second routine is a card under wallet effect where a card is signed. It ends up underneath the wallet. And then afterwards, the whole deck ends up under the wallet. And then afterwards, it ends up folded up inside the wallet. And you are able to take it out and hand it to them. Again, that routine also uses a mercury card fold. 
And then finally, the last routine, which I would argue you don't even need the wallet for, is a serial number prediction effect um, where you have a spectator select one of their bills and then they come up with a random number and it matches the serial number on the bill. Again, you don't really need the wallet for it. You could just do in, in the hands, um, you know, false transfer if you wanted to. Um, but the reality is that they go over it so that way you can use it with the wallet. You guys are gonna see here in a moment a demo of the routine I use with this um, and it's totally different from those that are mentioned. Um, and I primarily picked this up because I saw that this could be used very well with other mentalism ideas that I have, especially billet work, some routines that I've come up with with billets. And I thought because it attaches to your phone, it would work great as, you know, something you can introduce um, in a very organic way because it's already out in the open. It's already there sort of thing. So that was my main reason why I picked this up. Let's take a look at my demo and then afterwards I'm gonna go over my impressions of this wallet and my rating. Let's take a look at that now. All right, here's a quick demo of the routine that I've been using with the MagSwitch wallet. And I've been doing this routine for a long time, but using for instance like Quiver Wallet and other items, um, this actually leads to a nice retention of vision and it looks very natural because it's attached to your phone. So you might be using your phone for something and just leave it there. Um, you may bring attention to it and say, this is my lucky dollar bill. Do you have a lucky bill you carry with you for some reason or whatnot? Or you don't say anything and you just have the spectator go into the routine. Or for instance, I'll have them think of a playing card since no one's here. Hey Siri, name a playing card. Okay, it's the two of diamonds. There you go. So they've named the card. Usually at that point, what I'll do is I'll say to the person, is there any reason why you chose that? Like, is there some significance to that? And they may have a reason or not, but I'll say to them, remember that my phone has been here this whole time with my wallet. And in here, actually, I have some credit cards. These are actually just my business cards, but I'll usually have a credit card in there and I'll say to them, can you hold out your hand for a second? Here, you take the bill and open it up and take a look at it. The nice thing here about it is that they can open up the bill themselves and they're gonna see the two of diamonds. And then I can usually just tell them that's why it's my lucky bill. And then that leaves them with a question of whether or not they just got lucky or not. So that's how I've been using it. It's really simple, um, but it plays actually really strong. You should try that out if you do decide to get it. It really works well. All right, so you guys took a look at the routine that I used with this wallet, and I've had a lot of fun with it. And the next thing for me to do is to explore using this with just billets in general and coming up with some routines of my own with billets. I'm gonna have fun doing that. What are my impressions of this wallet? I think it's made really well, um, but I do think it is expensive. You know, this is made out of real leather. Hopefully it will last. I think it's a nice little addition to my magic. And for those of you that are thinking about picking this up, I would say that if this is something you're gonna use all the time, then maybe it's worth it. But if you're not gonna use it all the time, then I think it's a little bit expensive and you probably should just consider just picking up a Quiver wallet instead because the Quiver wallet pretty much is gonna do the exact same thing the only difference is that it's $14 if you pick this up off of eBay. Now, I'm not sure if that's like a knockoff version on eBay, but that's what I see it listed for. The Quiver Wallet is $14 on eBay. So it's kind of hard to beat that when you think about it. Now, if you're gonna pick this up because you wanna do like a signed card to impossible location and that's crazy visual retention of vision, then I would say you may also want to take a look at something like Roger Curzon's Miracle Signed Card to Envelope because it has a really nice retention of vision, as you can see here, and it's very easy to perform and it's very inexpensive. Um, I think you could pick that up for like 35 bucks, so it's like half the price of this. So if your main reason for picking this up is to do like a signed card to, you know, wallet type of effect, then you may want to just use something like what I'm mentioning of Roger Curzon's um, signed card to envelope just because it's economically better and it looks exactly the same when you think about it. it has a really nice 
retention of vision to it. Um, so that's really my thoughts about it. I really did like though how nat how organic it looks because it's there, it's on your phone. You put your phone out and it's ready to go. So I really like that a lot. But the one thing I thought was I thought it was a little bit expensive for what you're getting. Um, I'll have to like get back to you guys about the routines I come up with using this witch's billets in terms of my experiences with that. But those are my impressions overall. Let's take a look at the rating here that I came up with with this and then some final thoughts. So for creativity, I would rate this as four out of five. I thought it was extremely creative, especially the retention of vision. And especially, I really like the idea of the extra space that's in here that you can carry other credit cards, you can carry other cards, and you can use this, especially like in the idea of using it for like a dummy billet idea, where you could write something down on a billet and you can put it in the here and they'll see it in the window. And whenever you want, you can easily switch it out again. I really thought that that was great. Um, I thought that uh, just the whole idea was very creative. So I rate that as four out of five in that way. The next category is quality of the product. Again, I think this is top notch, five out of five for quality. Um, it's real leather and it feels and looks like it's built to last. So we'll see how long it does last for, but for now I'd rate it as five out of five for the quality of it. I think they did a good job making that. Um, next category is the teaching and the effects that are taught on there. And I would rate that as four out of five. I thought the teaching was good. Only thing I thought was that they could have added maybe some more diverse effects, especially effects that are more geared towards mentalism. I felt that the effects that were on here were more for card magicians. The next category was how does this compare with other products? And I would have to rate it really as three out of five because I think that it's as good, but maybe not better than other switching wallets out there. The reality is if I compare it to the Quiver wallet, other than the retention of vision aspect for the most part, you know, it doesn't really have much on the Quiver wallet. I would say the Quiver wallet is just as good, really. So I rate it as three out of five in that way. For audience reactions, I would give it five out of five strongest reactions. And maybe because of the retention of vision of it really just adds to it in the spectator's mind. There is no question that, you know, that that dollar bill is the same dollar bill that I hand to them in their hand. In their mind, it's the exact same bill that's been there from the start. And then finally, the last category is the price, which that's a category that I rated the lowest, two out of five, and that's because I thought that this was really expensive for what you're getting. Maybe the creator would argue with that, but that was just my own impressions of this. Giving this a final score of 3.83 out of five, which is still highly favorable, and I personally would recommend this to anyone who is into mentalism or anyone who's looking for a switching device that they can carry with them every day on their phone and they can introduce it without having to justify it because that's the nice thing about it is being on your phone, you can introduce it without even saying anything. You just have it there. Um, just like in the demo that I showed you, the way I performed it a lot was I would just put my phone out there. It's just there and I'd have them think of a playing card and then, you know, as a second thought, I'd say, oh, yeah, look, I've got my wallet here. By the way, here, check out this bill. And I just hand it to them, let them open up and let them find out for themselves that you predicted ahead of time the card that they just merely thought of. So that's really my recommendations for this. As usual, if you guys have any questions or comments about this review, if you have any questions about anything that I haven't covered, just leave them below. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in to my magic reviews, and I'll see you on the next one.